Hey yo, from the Kingdom of Ohio, I am Ryan Thomas, and this is a clip of a special bonus episode for patrons of this project on Patreon, Substack, and Float. I chatted recently with sidereal astrologer Athan Chimenti. Athan owns and operates MasteringTheZodiac.com, where he offers sidereal astrology courses, where he's trained more than a dozen true sidereal astrologers, and has given more than 5,000 professional readings to folks like me and you. He also makes videos for his Mastering the Zodiac YouTube channel, where he has nearly 70,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy this clip and want to hear the full 60-minute episode with Athen, check out the links in the show notes or the episode description to do just that. Enjoy. There are some things that I know in Western astrology that you know people place a lot of importance on, and I wanted to get your take on them from a sidereal perspective. And the first thing that I was curious about is like a, a rising sign. You know, I think in the tropical system, people say, like, this is kind of your public face and how you present yourself. Do rising signs carry any importance in the sidereal system? Yeah, that's a great question. And one of the main differences uh, between interpretations between the tropical and and true sidereal system, because typically with uh, true sidereal, we're still interpreting things the same way. What I mean is, is like Leo still has those same qualities, you know? And so we describe Mm -hmm. Leo in the same way between systems. Uh, But there are a few things between the systems that are just almost completely different. And the rising sign I've noticed is one of them. So like you said, the the tropical system, the rising is more of your persona, the mask you wear, how you're seen, right? This kind of thing. But in true sidereal, it, it really seems to show who you're destined to become. So the ancients, from what we know, because there's so much we don't know, obviously, about ancient history, but um, there's a little bit of understanding that at least, you know, some parts of the world, they looked at the rising constellation when someone was born. And this was supposed to determine what role that person was going to have in that society, you know, what they were destined to be, you know, what role they were going to play. And what I found is that's exactly what the true sidereal sign shows is what are the energies that life is helping you develop? So if your rising sign is Pisces, which is the constellation of spirituality, finding more peace in life, doing things more important on a soul level versus a physical level, you know, the person's life experiences will will show this. They'll be presented with a lot of experiences that are helping them develop more of this receptive and accepting and spiritual approach to things. They might have to, you know, let things go more with situations, go more with the flow, as they say, make peace with things. There might be a lot of experiences, you know, for spirituality or creativity or imagination or anything involving the ethers. So their life experiences will literally shape this part of themselves. And it's very interesting, too, because we're not born with it. The rising sign is increasing right so when you're born it starts in a sense at zero and then all these life experiences shape it and then the more experiences you have the more those qualities become a part of your personality and so rising sign is not what you're born with unless of course you have planets there but it's uh, not the energy you're born with but who you're destined to become and it's super helpful to know that because once you start like you're saying living in accordance with that nature or with that energy things just flow so much more and things make just so much more sense that, oh, yes, you know, this is this, this is probably what this experience is about, or, okay, I'm going to intentionally develop these Piscean qualities now. And and that helps align us to, you know, the experience instead of fighting it or resisting or just, you know, things just make more sense and we get more guidance and more really confirmation at the end of the day of what these experiences are about. Um, And I think the rising signs is a huge, a huge one for that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it would be. That's why I never actually heard you talk. I've listened to a lot of interviews that you've given, and I don't think anybody's ever asked you about the rising sign. So I was like, I would like to know more about that. 